everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my June beauty favorites and two other non-beauty items that were favorites as well. Most of this stuff should not be a surprise. Um, it's things that I've been talking about on here, on my blog, on Insta stories. So most of this stuff will not be a surprise at things that I've been loving. First, obviously the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. It's what I have on today. It's so beautiful. It's just still such a gorgeous, gorgeous formula. Really, really loving that. Um, also the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Yeah. Amazing. I have the shade, um, one. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is as beautiful as, so I love her airbrush, um, flawless finish pressed powder. Uh, I typically use that in my T-zone a lot. So this has a very similar texture. It's weightless. It's matte. It glides on the skin. It blends beautifully. Now, this goes on very, very fair, which um, there's all different shades. But if you're fair like me, this is a great shade to get because it goes on very light, very fair, and you can but you can build it up. Also, it is very cool toned. I find someone asked me to compare it to my Fenty bronzer, which I love as well. This is a slightly a little more like gray cooler tones. Uh, that's a little bit warmer but they are very, very similar, I will say. They are both, um, they have a similar formula, they feel similar and they look very similar to skin, but the Fenty seems a bit warmer to me. And if you're gonna get the bronzer, y'all, this brush, it's, it's amazing. It is an absolutely amazing brush. The Charlotte Tilbury, it's a her Kabuki brush. It's a perfect, shape for bronzer and getting it on the cheeks and buffing it in. I get a lot of questions, people asking me like, I need a good bronzer brush, especially in the summer. And I don't really have one that I gravitate towards. I just have brushes that I've accumulated over the years and I grab ones here and there. But that brush is unbelievable. Okay, where am I going next? Okay, the eyeshadow, obviously the Hourglass Scattered Light in Reflect. I've worn this a ton of times. It's a gorgeous rose gold shade. It's actually not what I have on today. I went with my Natasha Denona Biba palette, which I haven't worn in a while. But this one I've shared in videos and everything. I'm also gonna do a tutorial with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, bronzer, as well as another bronzer that I have here. So it may have to be two different videos, or maybe I'll just do one on one side and one on the other and you know, whatever. Um, because I've got two that I really want to share and two different brushes that I really want to talk about. Okay, the Marc Jacobs Atlashed Mascara. Yes, the brush is phenomenal. Um, the formula, it's a lengthening and curling mascara. When I first started using it, I was like, it doesn't really lengthen that much. Then I started using it some more, I'm like, oh, it does really lengthen and it does really help to curl, but it also gives you intense, intense volume. That is just has blown me away. All right, lip wise, I'm still really loving the Givenchy um, La Rose Perfecto, the liquid balm, especially in number 17. But the Huda Beauty Silk Balm, I've already, this has already been a huge uh, top seller with you guys. Like when I check what's been selling really well from the stuff that I've been sharing, so many of you guys have picked this up as well and told me that you love it too. There's hardly any color to it, but it, it's like this glassy effect on the lips. I have a lip liner underneath. It's like a glassy effect for the lips, but it's a balm and it manages to smooth out the lips, make them look smooth, full, and it's, it's just very hydrating, creamy. It has a balm texture. It's not too sticky. If there's one thing you get, get this Huda Beauty Silk, Silk Balm. It is, Amazing, it's blown me away. All right, I pulled this back out again. I started using it and I forgot how much I loved it. The Jane Scrivener Natural and Organic AHA BHA Resurfacing Exfoliator. So it's like a exfoliating toner. I would say this is a medium strength to medium strong. Uh, definitely patch tested, but it really helps with texture and to resurface the skin. Um, I've been really, really impressed by that. Uh, I'm really back to using the Tarte In Bloom palette. I've just been pulling this out a lot more. It's um, It's got a good mix of shimmer, mattes. It's a great neutral everyday palette. 
And actually, the reason why I grabbed the Natasha Denona Viva palette, because this was in my office and the Viva palette happened to be in my bathroom, or else I would have grabbed the Tartlet in Bloom palette. All right, hair, still, the Briogeo. This is my combo. My Scalp Revival, my Curxfoliating Shampoo, followed by the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask. I have, did it today. It makes my hair bouncy, full of life. It gives some volume to the roots. It feels so clean and soft, smooth, and just amazing. Next, the new face. All right, I haven't talked about this yet on YouTube, um, but I'm sharing a lot of my Insta stories um, on Instagram and showing that I've been using it. I also have the fix, but the new face Trinity is kind of their, like, obviously their premier device, the one that started the whole thing. It is a microcurrent device. It's amazing. I'm going to do a full blog post on it. I want to do kind of like before and after photos, like so you can see one side of the face after I've done it. And so here's the thing with the device. As everyone says, it is not worth the money if you're not going to use it regularly. I'm talking at least five to six days a week. You need to commit to using it. If you don't feel like you want to put that kind of time into it, and for me, it's only like five minutes, seven minutes. You can actually do it while you're sitting watching TV. I mean, there's a million things you can do. You can be eating a snack, you can wait for your coffee, to whatever. And it's that easy to use. But if you're not going to do it, you will not see the results. Like over time, I definitely see my skin. Like everything looks so much more lifted. My jaw looks so much more defined. Um, you do see like instant results. I mean, the side of your face that you use, it really looks just like lifted. It's great for, it's designed to help smooth out fine lines, help with um, firmness and really lifting the skin. It is a microcurrent device. Do I feel the little, the little shocks? Um, that's why you have to put a primer on because you will feel the shocks. If like, if I get to the back of my face and I don't have any primer on that part, it'll be like zap. And you'll, you'll definitely feel it. Um, but, uh, I've also, one of you also suggested the Peter Thomas Roth cucumber gel mask. I'll link it below as like a great, um, conductor as well. If you don't want to keep getting the primer, the gel primer, the, the gel primer is really great. I do take it off. Um, I don't leave it on. But uh, some of you have shared other um, masks or gel formulations that you buy um, in addition to the, you know, new face primer um, that help conduct it. And that's one of them. So I've just been, it is really fantastic. Yes, it is worth the money. But like I said, it's not worth the money if you're not going to use it at least five to six days a week. Um, listen, I, I, I shared the other day my baby foot peel uh, before. I'll link that review below, um, that crazy, like, peel that you do in your feet and then your feet shed all the skin over time. Um, it was amazing. I did it during quarantine. It really, I'll, the blog post shows like during photo and after photo. It's, I, I was, I couldn't even believe I was going to show the during photo because it's pretty gross, but it, I, many of you wanted to see what it looked like. So did the baby foot peel. Then I just got on like, I want my feet to be smooth kick. And I found this foot file on Amazon. It's the real deal. It's really fantastic. Um, but if you, go too hard, you will hurt yourself. So just be mindful of that. Sorry, my gloss like kind of collects here sometimes when I'm talking. Um, so just be mindful of that. Next, the Tarte Cream Bronzer. So this is the um, Breezy Cream Bronzer. I bought the shade Seashells and the brush. This brush is phenomenal, especially for the price. Many of you have asked me to compare this to Chanel cream bronzer. I don't know. I've never tried the Chanel cream bronzer and I have no desire to try it. I don't know why. Like I said, a lot of Chanel products, I'm just not drawn to a lot of their products. Uh, sometimes things hit my fancy. And most of the time though, I just glaze right over them when I'm looking at new arrivals or that sort of thing. So I can't compare it. However, this is a matte formulation. It's very, very sheer, uh, beautiful blends really nicely, but the brush, I mean, it just fits like right there and it really buffs in the color and it's so smooth and easy to use. Right now, I've just been using it with a cream product. I'm sure you could use it with a powder product, but I actually think I'd like to just keep it for cream products on the cheeks. I mean, I think for like $29. Wow. I mean, the, the combo together, but you don't even feel like getting the cream bronzer. This Tarte brush, I have a feeling you will, like these two, just, it will, that's your face bronzer 
um, contour everything covered. Um, okay, another favorite. Um, I'm just making sure I covered everything. Yes, did I cover everything? Mm, if I think of any other favorites that I literally did not grab, I was like going through this morning trying to grab everything. If I, I'll link it below. Uh, this is a non beauty favorite, but these heels from Amazon. These I they're from the Amazon Drop collection, and I keep trying to get them because they always sell out. They're forty nine dollars, and they come in black, lilac, and this nude shade. But they are the exact strappy, delicate sandal that I have been looking for. It, they go with everything. It's like a nice heel height. It's not too high, not too low. They're very comfortable. I like that they're so minimal. So we're talking like they can go with jeans. They can go with a skirt. They just, and being that they're nude, they really elongate your leg. So if you're short like me, if you have short legs like me, I love wearing nude shoes because it really elongates that line. That's a little tip, um, but they also have them in black. They sell out very quickly, and then but they do restock. Um, I have just been loving them. And also, I've been on this earring kick. So look at these dangly ones back here that I just got. How cute. I've just been on this earring kick, loving so many kind of funky earrings. I also picked up, that I shared on my Insta stories, these really fun earrings from this uh, Black-owned business, Oma the Label. And um, I'll link them below. They're so unique. They're actually two different earrings, but they kind of like hook onto the ear and also go through, like have a post, but also kind of hook onto the ear. So unique, so chic. Um, I've just been kind of digging, you know, different types of like earrings and like switching things up and creating kind of like a, I don't know, like an earring wardrobe. And okay, that is it. I think that is all that I have to share. And I'll go ahead and link everything that I talked about down below. Um, would love to know what your favorites are from this past month. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.